Hey, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Podcast. I'm Carmen, your host for this episode and every other episode on the Girly Girl Podcast. So, this is actually my third time recording this episode, and the first time I did it, the sound was super weird. I forgot to turn something off on the program I use, and it was really echoey, and I didn't realize till after I finished recording the entire episode, which was around 30 minutes. So that was really unfortunate and a waste of my time and super sad. And then the second time, my sister actually called me in the middle of it. And since I was recording on my phone, it just stopped the audio recording and it was like mid-sentence. So then I just was like, whatever, I'm deleting this, I'm starting over. So here we are. This week, I've been dealing with trying to manage my school blog and podcast which is a little overwhelming but i've tried to reduce the amount of work i have to do for my blog as i mentioned last week instead of posting three times a week i'm going to be starting to post one time a week which will hopefully make it a little bit more manageable and also i want to apologize today in case i sound like my voice sounds weird um my i woke up with really bad allergies and there's also something in my eye right now. I went to bed and there was something in my eye and I thought it would go away. And it's still there and my eye kind of burns. So, fun times. I'm also recording this at like 7.30 in the morning. Freaking Thursday. Even though I post on Mondays. Because this is the only time I have to record from Thursday to Sunday really. And I'm sitting in my closet too. It's kind of funny. But... Anyway, a change I want to make to my podcast is making longer episodes because all the podcasts I really enjoy and love and pretty much like religiously watch, I only really watch a few podcasts. It's like Call Me Candid, Wild Till Nine, Intentional with Sedona Christina. I literally watched all her episodes when I was cleaning my closet. I binged them. They were so good. I'm obsessed. I don't know, a few others, but all their episodes are upwards of 50 minutes, 30 to 50. But both of those podcasts, they're either interviewing someone or have two people. So pretty much it's like two people talking, which is easier. It's kind of hard to fill up the time talking to yourself for 50 minutes, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just hit something really interesting and can go on and on about. But just let me know. And speaking of that, if you want, you could leave me a review and make sure to subscribe or follow this podcast wherever you're listening and right now by the time this podcast will be going out I'm still trying to get it up on Apple Podcasts and once I do then you will be able to leave a review but I'm just mentioning this in case people are like binging the episodes or whatever at a future time. Currently right now you probably can't leave a review just because it's not on apple podcast that will be coming up soon i'm just waiting for them to verify it okay so let's get into the best and worst of the week for the best of the week it's starting an instagram account no this wasn't a personal account i already have one of those but it was for my podcast this one right here super exciting and it's been really fun this week to engage with other podcasts and some listeners and i've just really enjoyed the aspect of stories and stuff i think it's super fun but yesterday i spent way too much time on instagram i think it was like three and a half hours which was insane because i was responding to a bunch of dms trying to do stories posting something responding to comments honestly managing social media especially something like instagram takes so much time but anyway i was probably just going a little bit overboard and didn't have to be on instagram for three and a half hours so i set a time limit on my phone so i can only have instagram for an hour so hopefully that'll make me manage my time better and be more productive during those times and oh this was so awkward but so one of my friends i don't know if she's listening if she is hi tori love you but this was awkward so she found my podcast instagram even though i never told her i had a podcast so not really sure how she did that um stalker skills on point girl no i'm kidding it was probably in a suggested page or something she followed it and she commented and i had like a mini panic attack because i haven't really told any of my friends or family really about the podcast because i just wanted to see how it goes at first not have to i'm choosing because i like her we're good friends but 
I'm choosing to hang out with her uh, over the weekend, so we'll see if that comes up. I'll let you know. But yeah. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at the girly girl podcast. And I'll make sure to leave, but you should definitely follow it to stay tuned and make sure you're, you're always updated and get to know me a little bit better and see what I'm doing throughout the week. And I post a lot of inspirational quotes and stuff and post updates. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to follow at the Girly Girl Podcast. Now for the like five minutes on the floor of my closet. I wish I could take a picture of this, but since I'm recording with my phone, I can't. But I have like a stuffed animal in my lap just because... I'm sitting in the middle of the closet floor and I just wanted to hold on to something so I don't play with the sleeps on my shirt because that would probably be loud and annoying. So here we are. But this is like similar. I saw a post on someone else's podcast. I can't remember who at the moment, but it was about like toxic positivity and how everything shouldn't be positive because that's not all the human emotions. And I totally agree. But this week, this week was pretty positive or pretty average, I guess. So now we're getting into what this episode's actually about now that i've rambled for like nine minutes about just me and my life and what's going on but today is all about boys tiktok boys high school boyfriends awkward first dates and snapchat so pretty much it's everything we have to deal with right now related to boys and dating as teenage girls or teenage boys i don't know about you but i am obsessed with tiktok i feel like i say this all the time on my blog and my podcast with my friends or they say to me more often but i've i was like one of those og tiktok people like i got it in 2018 when i had it everyone thought i was weird they're like what are you doing what is this app you're just on musically and okay but musically first tiktok not the same not the same i actually really never had a musically account my cousin made me get it one time because he just wanted me to like all his tiktoks so that was the only reason i had it but i literally refused to download it like i would when my friends talked about it i would like protest them like i was not about musically but tiktok tiktok was different so as i said i got it in 2018 everyone made fun of me my friends my boyfriend at the time and but now 2020 comes around and everyone and their mom has tiktok i know my mom has tiktok um tori's mom has tiktok if you don't remember tori she was the one who found my instagram in that awkward situation but tiktok is filled with the hottest boys i have ever seen never see anyone that look like them in person i have a theory they don't exist they're like computer programs or something who knows but like where are these boys people like actually i'll just say my tiktok crushes you can stalk them later if you want if you don't know who they are but you probably do because they have like millions of followers first one is troy slash his username's zarbra i'll make sure to link out all of their stuff down below and everything else that I mentioned throughout this episode. And he posts like transition videos, skating videos. He's really cute. And also Vinny, his username is VHacker. He, honestly, I don't know what type of videos he posts. It's just like random stuff, but he's really cute. And then Baron and it's Baron Cho. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Whenever I read it, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he does like dancing videos. He's really cool. And then Jackson, the color green. He's super funny. Everyone jokes about how he's like 5'5". Five, five. I actually think he's like six foot, but he won't tell anyone. It's like a whole joke he has going on his page. These are all some really cute guys that you would never see in person. Or that if you did, and if you got to know them, they would definitely ghost you. So, there's also a lot of people are obsessed with the Sway House boys. But recently they've been going under a lot of controversy. Like with COVID and stuff the other day, which was... Tuesday so it would have been about a week ago he posted a video oh not Tuesday oh my gosh I'm losing all concept of time what is today today's Thursday so Wednesday Noah Beck who is a very popular member of the Sway House which is an all just like an all boys group on TikTok friend group whatever with him in a kids dance studio with 
looked like upwards of 50 kids and they were all really young maybe like 12 and under or something and none of them had masks he didn't they were all doing a dance i don't know or people like bryce hall he's thrown parties during covid he's gotten a lot of hate for that rightfully so though like it just doesn't make sense and do i follow them yes of course i do another person who just i think this is the funniest thing ever but is willy wonka if you're not on tiktok you're probably like what the hell what is she talking about there's a guy who does willy wonka cosplay and it is the funniest thing ever he has like millions of followers he has a whole instagram account dedicated to it and everyone is obsessed with this man but then on his main account no one's really obsessing over him but only because he's willy wonka and it's super funny and i just okay i was going on a rant about the sway house and willy wonka but my main thing with tiktok is that it's setting unrealistic beauty and boy standards are or the boys at least with millions of followers these are like the once in a lifetime boys that you're never gonna see in your entire life like all these boys and they're not average looking like they're very above average looking and a lot of them post like these super cute kind things most boys well some boys are but high school boys no don't expect it tiktok's giving us unrealistic standards you shouldn't lower your standards and i actually have a friend who now goes to boarding school i know this is kind of like hypocritical of what i just said but don't lower your standards keep them up there we used to be like really close we're still pretty close but we were extremely close like sisters freshman year she would always talk about having high standards and i honestly thought she was insane like insane and things that probably just don't won't happen in high school hopefully later in life because troy looking at you but (laughs) um yeah but speaking of unrealistic standards she would have all these requirements these guys have to be if someone didn't meet one of them she wasn't interested she hasn't dated anyone just because she's been keeping her standards up there and honestly that's just knowing your worth and knowing that you're a bad b so i suggest and i wish that i had done that when i was dating people but did i no will i get into it yes and just to interrupt really quickly don't forget to leave a review and subscribe this is your reminder right now just click out of this episode without closing it out i don't know if this makes sense but go to where you can click subscribe or follow on wherever you're listening my allergies are super bad but and i'm really sorry again if i sound so nasally i apologize i hope i don't sound sick um probably when i listen back to this recording i'll be like oh my god why did i sound like this and maybe even make myself do it record this a fourth time but i really don't want to do that so we're just gonna go through it get it done and because after i record this i actually have to go to an english class since i'm in online school at 8 20 and it's 7 50 so we're just gonna go 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 this won't take 50 minutes though but anyway keep listening i hope you're having fun i'm having fun let's just as i said speak about the people i've dated and throw shade if they're listening freshman year i didn't have the highest of standards right i was a freshman i was scared i was in a new school hi guys sorry one of you are cool the other one is less cool (laughs) but just wanted someone to walk me through everything that i needed to do have i had any sense no am i lonely maybe If someone I know is listening to this, am I going to pretend like I never said this? Yes. During high school, boyfriends really aren't worth it. Especially if you're dating someone for a year. Oh my god, just just stop. That is the biggest waste of your time. And I actually ended up having two boyfriends freshman year. Unless you think you're like marrying this person, which most likely you're not going to. So I don't know, but... Barely anyone marries their high school sweetheart. When they do, it doesn't go very well. So, would not suggest. But high school is a time just to have fun. And also, dating is really weird in high school. 
especially when you're when you can't drive oh my god it's so weird you have to have like your mom drive you to your date or your mom drive you to their house and then you have to talk in the car about it when she comes to pick you up i'm like throwing shade at my mom i love my mom but it was just it was awful and dating as i said it's just weird especially with all the social media right now there's a lot of not in person things and the weirdest thing about dating besides social media the first date and especially the worst thing ever is awkward first dates like man oh i hate it but i had a really awkward first date freshman year with this guy and we're really close friends now or i don't know really close but we're like friends just a friend and he was like when we dated he was like six three or something now i think he's taller but i don't know i'm like five one maybe closer to five foot so that's like not very good at math but i would say over a foot in height difference which is no bueno no bueno so for our first date we went to a movie and i think it was like jumanji or something i honestly don't remember it wasn't the movie wasn't very memorable or something else more memorable which i'll get to in just a sec but i think movie dates are really lame and i feel like everyone does them for both of my boyfriends i had that was the first date pretty sure yeah that was the first date super lame it's also weird because if you don't know this person well you can't really like talk during a movie so it's like you're just sitting there really awkwardly with a stranger at someone you're supposed to like every few minutes like smile at and like say something funny about the movie but like I'd rather just like talk to someone or like go to a park or do like an activity like i feel like going like, paddle boarding or something would be cool i don't know someone probably had a really bad paddle boarding first date or something where you can like escape so you don't have to be stuck there the whole time like going to a park for a picnic or something that would be cool i don't know pretty much like anything that's not going to a movie sounds appealing at the moment i don't know i feel like just especially teenagers right now always go on movie dates just because it's easy and also probably unconsciously because they just want to look at a screen and a screen is more fun or more interesting or more stimulating than actually talking to a real living breathing human but i don't know just me speculating but anyway so as i said this guy is like six four six three whatever and during the movie i was trying to be cute right so i tried to put my head on his shoulder bad idea did not work out i literally had to like halfway stand out the seat and lean so far over to make it to his shoulder because he's so freaking tall and the whole time my neck hurt my back hurt i was like half sitting in the chair and he could barely touch his head to my head like he was also like crunching down it was not going well it was very uncomfortable very awkward never again he's a really great guy he's super sweet super nice that was horrible my other first date the other movie date was not bad and that was actually good we were closer in height which was nice less than a less than a foot so congrats you win winner winner chicken dinner i feel like our generation's way of dating is so messed up by generation i mean like gen z i guess millennials or i guess millennials also i think social media's part in dating is so freaking weird it just makes things like so i don't know it's like you're connected you're more connected yet you're like it's farther and know them less i don't know i just it's weird instagram dms or snapchat or like dating apps it's just or even like people commenting on tiktoks like it's just weird uh, times have changed instead of like going to someone's house you're gonna like call them and talk to them or facetime them and you might instead of like seeing them less you can see them more now and i don't know i just think it's super strange especially i just don't understand instagram dms i mean no one's actually that's not true but if you dm someone like hey you're cute whenever someone does that to me i get i don't know this is 
probably me being social anxiety whatever but i get scared okay if i don't know you and you're randomly dming me and telling me i'm cute please go away i'm scared i don't know you no thank you and then with snapchat it's i'm gonna get more into this and just start talking to them and literally i don't understand this i guess some of my friends are just fearless can't relate we'll just add random people quick ad and you don't know them and then you just start sending them like no kyle i don't want to see your ceiling so stop i just don't understand people who send nudes off snapchat i i just also don't understand that with generation yes i get it if you've been like dating for a while and they're like your boyfriend or whatever and you trust this person sending nudes to that random guy kyle you added off your quick ad what are you doing with your life i'm sorry but like i just don't understand and oh it just makes me so mad because i have so many friends who just add these random guys i can't even put it into words it just makes me so frustrated and i know i can't change anything about that which as a control freak that also pisses me off we're just gonna move on because i don't know if i can make complete sentences and i probably just sound like i'm ranting which is pretty much probably every episode of this podcast is me ranting or me going on long tangents but i don't know i hope you like it and that it feels like you're just sitting with your bff in a room and like gossiping or like trading tips and advice i don't know that's what i always try to picture or when i listen to podcasts that's how i feel so i'm just hoping that i can do that for you because i really enjoy it podcasting and i hope that you like it and honestly if you don't have a podcast you really need to make one like it's so fun and it's super easy so i have a younger brother who's like i'm trying to i this is so bad i don't know how old he is 15 i'm 16 he's going to be a sophomore and he's a pretty cool dude no i'm kidding he's like an asshole he's such a dick and he's so cocky also i don't know if i'm supposed to curse on these or not but here we go we're just going off now i've been trying not to it's kind of hard i've been trying to say like heck and freaking and i feel like those girls on tiktok are like i'm christian or whatever not making fun of christianity but some people like you're going a little overboard like karen chill since i have a younger brother i feel like i have a different perspective on boys and how boys are thinking and it's just recently it's made me a bit more reluctant to like talk to some boys or i don't know i haven't really been i feel like i just have better things to do than to talk to a random high school boy whose main priority is getting booty pics and playing call of duty but maybe that's just where my priorities lie i don't know could be different from for everybody else i know for some people it is am i throwing shade yes yes so just because of my brother i have a different perspective and especially with nudes and i know recently i went on sam so take it that way who sent them both the same nudes months ago i don't i don't remember exactly when cousin jed they were both talking in the morning and they were super happy and they were both talking about a girl let me go back that's not right actually wait no girl sent my cousin a nude and then he literally asked her he said hey can i screenshot this and send it to my friends and she said yes what the hell is wrong with our generation are you fucking kidding me like you're just gonna let this guy who i guess you thought you trusted who would keep your stuff confidential and you're gonna let him share it with his friends where it could get to like 10 other people or maybe more like are you retarded what are you doing with your life i don't know and especially it's even worse if you couldn't stand up for yourself like actually no don't do that i trust you and i don't want you to send it to anyone please don't that's stupid and that's your fault so i don't know what you're expecting but also sending it to some random person you met at camp boys just think with their dick like that's where they're leading if a girl is hot and they want to fuck her they're going that way just keep that in mind i mean some guys are super sweet super nice 
Again, if you're expecting to date someone in high school, your standards, they're not going to be met. Like, if you make a TikTok in a bathing suit, they think you're trying to get attention, even though you could just be at the beach and wearing a cute bathing suit. You thought the pattern was cute. They just think that you're trying to get attention. Now that we're wrapping up and ending this episode, I think I've ranted about everything that I want to get through today, but if I didn't cover anything or you have And boys also try to sexualize everything or want to tell me a funny personal story. You can send me emails to thegirlygirlpodcast at gmail.com or send me a DM at thegirlygirlpodcast. So pretty much you can contact me either way. I'll make sure to, to discuss it in a future episode. Also, if you can send a personal audio segment in and then I can feature it in the episode if you want to be featured which would be pretty cool and I haven't done one of these yet but I think it would be really fun and add a little pizzazz I'm doing jazz hands right now (laughs) to the episode you don't have to say your name or anything in any of these formats where you ask a question or ask for advice or tell a story it's just you telling something anonymous and me keeping it that way and also i just have a few reminders before we go make sure to check out my blog super exciting i'm trying to remember what i oh this week make sure to check out for a post on wednesday about and posting this week since I schedule all my stuff, but study tips for high school students. It should be super helpful, especially for back to school, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And also, don't forget to join my newsletter if you want it. I think my newsletter adds a lot of value to people and a lot of the girls that I get to know, and I get to know them through this newsletter. And it also lets us keep in touch once a week, every Sunday at 9 a.m. And I just like to have little chats with everybody through email. But you can also DM me or whatever. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast or follow it, whatever it's called, just so you can stay updated whenever I post, stay in touch and be updated on everything. And make sure to leave a review down below if you enjoyed today's episode or maybe talking about how you could relate or not relate or you agree or disagree, whatever. Just let me know. I love hearing your opinions and I just want to know what you all think. So I hope you have an amazing next week and make sure that you binge any of my episodes if you haven't watched all of them so you don't miss out on anything that I post. I'll see you next week. Bye girly girls! (laughs) 